We're making a kale chiffonade salad with crunchy chickpea croutons. It's my go-to kale salad, and I always use Follow Your Heart Caesar dressing, which actually tastes like real Caesar without the traditional eggs or anchovies. Quite an incredible feat. We'll start by making our chickpea croutons, which are a more nutritious and actually gluten-free alternative for the usual bready salad croutons. We're using canned chickpeas, which we've drained and rinsed, and now we've got to dry them. You're just gonna pour them on a dry kitchen towel. Moisture is the enemy of all things crispy. Fold the towel over the chickpeas, and then you're just gonna rub them gently. Work out all the kinks. You're gonna do it super gently, because we don't want to smush the chickpeas, but we do want to remove the skins at the same time as we're drying them. So if you pop that towel open, you can see all these little skins that have fallen off. These chickpeas will be baked to become our croutons for our salad. So we wanna get rid of the skins, which will just burn in the oven. We're gonna add our chickpeas to our cookie sheet that's been lined with parchment paper. Now we're gonna season our chickpea croutons to make them taste just like Caesar croutons. We're gonna add about half a glug of olive oil. That is the technical term that translates roughly to one teaspoon. We're just gonna kind of coat these puppies. Get them all glossy. Now a sprinkling of salt. We're using a pink fine grain Himalayan sea salt here. And you wanna make sure you sprinkle from up high. Make sure you have an even coating rather than dumping a clump right on one section. A really big pinch of garlic powder. Add some nutritional yeast. This is a great ingredient to keep around. It's actually a complete protein, and it gets everything a cheesy taste, which is especially awesome for Caesar croutons. Now use your hands to gently mix the seasoning into your chickpeas until everything is evenly coated. Now we have our chickpeas all spread out on a cookie sheet, and we're gonna bake it in a 425 degree oven for about 30 minutes, giving the pan a little shake like this about 20 minutes in. Now for our kale. This is black kale, or dino kale, or elephant kale, or lacinato kale. It's got like 17 different names. But regardless, it's my favorite kale for salads because it's the most tender and the least bitter. First, we need to get rid of these stems. I could use a knife and cut each one out painstakingly and have it take forever, but I'm far too impatient for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unzip the kale. The trick is making a little hook with your finger, putting the hook around the base of the stem, and with your thumb on just the other side of the stem, you're just gonna slide your hook down the base of the stem. And voila, you've got stem-free kale. Super fast. Now we're going to chiffonade our kale. You're gonna stack about three or four of your kale leaves. Then you're gonna tightly roll them up like a burrito and cut really thin little strips. The thinner the kale strips are, the more tender your salad is gonna be. And you'll end up with these beautiful little rags, something really delicate, light, and gorgeous. You're gonna repeat with the rest of your kale stack. We're gonna add some romaine for a bit of variation in color and texture. You're going to cut the same width of slices as your kale strips. Now we're gonna put our romaine in a separate little bowl. Perfect. We're going to dress our beautiful salad with this creamy Follow Your Heart vegan Caesar dressing. Using your hands, you're gonna give the kale a really good massage. The chiffonade made the kale much lighter, but giving the kale a little kneading will really improve the tenderness of the leaves. While my hands are all dirty, I'm going to add the romaine into our mix. Now we don't put the romaine in before the dressing because the romaine is already pretty tender. It doesn't need a massage. Our chickpea croutons should be nice and crispy by now. And they actually get crispier as they cool, so let them sit for a bit before adding them to your salad. And try really hard not to eat them all. Trust me, this part will take tremendous willpower. Yep, not happening. I'm gonna eat them all. We're going to finish off our salad with Follow Your Heart Parmesan. It looks like Parmesan. It tastes like Parmesan. It is absolutely incredible. You're gonna sprinkle in about half a cup. I'm gonna toss that up. We're going to toss in most of our chickpea croutons. 
And you wanna do this right at the end before serving or else they'll get a little soggy. Now we're gonna serve up our salad. Ooh, look at that. I always like to save a little bit of the ingredients inside a salad to place on top as garnish. So we're gonna finish it off with a sprinkling of follow your heart parmesan and a few more of these delicious chickpea croutons. And there you have it, kale chiffonade salad with chickpea croutons. Yum.